You know what happens if you kick a porcupine? Most people think maybe you'd get a few quills stuck in your shoe. Your entire soul becomes a pincushion instantly. Animals that mess with porcupines end up looking like swollen cartoon characters. Porcupines carry over 30,000 quills. They lie flat normally, only standing up when threatened. Here's the misconception. Quills don't shoot out like darts. Instead, they detach on contact under pressure. The tips are needle sharp and each quill has backward facing barbs. Once embedded, they're nearly impossible to remove. Animals without hands, death sentence. The wound gets infected and they die slowly. If you try pulling them out, those barbs cause secondary tearing, expanding the wound and multiplying the pain. So do porcupines die after losing quills? Nope, they lose tons during each defensive encounter, but quills regrow within days. A porcupine replaces tens of thousands throughout its lifetime. With 30,000 built-in weapons, are they invincible? Not even close to their Achilles heel. That big fleshy nose. Fisher cats discovered this weakness and exploit it mercilessly. They attack faces at three to four bites per second. Relentless, precise, brutal. Once the face is injured, porcupines lose all fight. They become helpless snacks. It's almost poetic. Evolution spent millions of years creating a walking fortress with regenerating ammunition. But nature said cool defense system and invented an animal that just bites faces really fast. 30,000 quills mean nothing when your enemy targets the one spot you can't protect. The porcupine's greatest strength becomes irrelevant in seconds. That's nature's version of finding the cheat code.